Hello everyone, you tune in to Half of the Blessings. I'm Kim 1114. Um, I come to show you the beginning stages of my nails. I'm not finished with them at all yet. But I want to show you the beginning stages of how I'm um, doing the fading effect with uh, the different colors. So the first thing I did was, well first off I'm using, I'm going to try to use four different colors to kind of blend them in and fade them into my nails. Uh, my nails are not extremely, extremely long so I might not be able to do all four colors so if your nails are short you can just do two colors and it's still the design will still come out nice um, I'm gonna try to squeeze four colors in though so this is the first color that I'm using the lightest of the shades and I the lightest of the shades and I sponge this on uh, twice because it was uh, so light so I went over it twice and the first color that I use is called pastel teal number 142 by clean colors and it's like a really really light light teal sky blue somewhat color and each one of the shades is a little bit darker than the next so the next uh, shade that I'm going to use which I've already did these fingers with this shade I really is um, the sea ice number 113 by clean colors so I'm just gonna take it and I'm gonna place some onto my makeup sponge this is the makeup sponge that I was using And I cut my makeup sponges in half, like I said, to instead of using the whole makeup sponge, I just cut it in half. This is the other half that I haven't used right here. And I'm just going to sponge on. I'm going to start at the tip of my nail. That way, when I get up here, all the, most of the nail polish should be off the brush because I want it to be thinner at the top area. And this is really messy to do so that's why I'm, I'm going ahead I have to leave the house soon so I decided to go ahead and get the sponging method out of the way so I, I will have that out of the way and I'll do the hand painting on it when I get home so that's the way it looks so far on that and I'm gonna clean up around my edges after I finish doing all the sponging okay you and you want to let that dry completely before you move on to the next step so the next shade I'm going to use is um, a darker shade. But first off, I'm going to cut this off since I used the. I don't have to use these colors anymore. So I'm just going to take some scissors just, just to save a makeup sponge so I don't have to use a different makeup sponge every time. I'm just going to cut off the part that I used and use the same makeup sponge that I had. So the next color I'm going to use is called number 25 beach blue by clean colors and it's a little bit darker than the one I just put on so I'm going to use that next And I'm going to let this dry. And the last color I'm going to be using is number 15, Neon Sapphire. And it's like a dark blue somewhat. So I'm going to put that on the makeup sponge and sponge it on my thumb as well. Like that. and I'm gonna let that dry and next I'm going to apply a layer of top coat on And 
I'm going to let this dry completely. Then I'll be ready to uh, do the hand painting on it. So this is what they look like so far. So next one I'm going to do, I'm going to um, apply top coat on the rest of my nails. Let it dry. And I'm going to clean up around my edges. And then I'll be ready to do the hand painting. So I'll be back in a few. This is the nail design I went with, I decided to do on my nails. And I pretty much um, just added a lot of different colors to my nails. I hand painted most of it. Well, I hand painted all of it except for my pinky finger and my middle finger and my thumb. I used um, a 3D mold to make, to make the fish on it. And I messed this one up a little bit, but I used a 3D mold to make the fish as you can see and for my ring finger and my pointer finger I actually hand painted the fish on and everything else is hand painted this is the thumb nail on the opposite hand so I'm going to do this same design on this finger so basically what I'm going to be using is uh, acrylic paints pretty much um, up until I get to the 3D mode but I'll come back with that so this is the colors that I'm using there's a lot of different colors the mixing going on so I'm going to go ahead and get started on hand painting this. I already did this. I uh, painted this white at first and then I went back with a lime green paint and went over it. And next we're going to take some uh, green metallic nail polish. It's called Jazz Olive number 118 by Clean Colors. And I didn't use very much of it. I just used just a little bit of the nail. Just a little bit. Next I'm going to take some clear nail polish and add some on top of the purple area and I'm gonna be adding these little um, crushed shells I think that's what they're called on my nails I'm gonna add the purple on top of the purple area and the pink on top of the pink area and I'm gonna start off with the purple area So this is a 3D mold that I use for the um, fish. Hopefully you can see that really good. And I ordered it off eBay. So I just use white acrylic paint um, to make all the fish. Like I said, I, I placed 3D fish on my pinky finger, my middle finger, and my thumb. That's it. And the fish on my pointer finger, my ring finger, I actually hand painted those in. So I'm just going to take this and pop it out. And I did it in white so I wouldn't have to constantly change and do all the colors with their acrylic. I decided to do it in just white and just hand paint it the color that I wanted. And next, I'm going to uh, hand paint the fish that I just added on my nail. And next, I'm going to add some clear nail polish and add a few of these little round uh, hexagon glitters that I have. And they are they're um white or kind of like an opal color and next I'm going to add my top coat on
and that is basically it for the nail design so hopefully you like it uh let me know what you think and i will talk to you later youtube till then